Back on the chamber report, time now for ambassador number two. He is one of my favorite people representing one of the coolest organizations for what they do. And we're going to talk to you about it and get an update. He's been on the show before. His name is Joe McKenzie. Joe is with Cars for Neighbors. Joe is on the board of directors of the chamber. Joe is the chamber ambassador. Whew, Joe, you, you've got a full schedule. I, I do, but it's, it's worthwhile. So I'm, yeah. I, I've been a 27 year resident of Anoka County and I, I love my community. I love how my community rallies and being part of the Anoka Chamber just allows me to see where I can bring the most added value to everybody in regards to businesses, to nonprofits, to faith organizations. Yeah. It's an ideal situation for me as well as my organization, Cars for Neighbors. You bet, and we so appreciate your help with the Chamber. But let's talk, we're here to talk about Cars for Neighbors. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about the history for those out there that don't know about it. Cars for Neighbors was founded in the year 2000 by a small group of engaged community members. They initially were called Free to Be and they help people with repairs and, and, and just moving forward in their lives. And here we are almost 22 years later and over 4,000 families served wow. with, with our programming. And I, I honestly think we're as essential today as when we were founded in 2000 to help people get from point A to B and safe vehicles. Do, do you agree with oh, that? Oh, totally, Joe. You and I have talked about this before. I mean, if my vehicle breaks down, it's simple. I get it fixed now. Does it pinch and hurt me to do that? Yeah, it does, but I'm in a position where I can do it. Um, imagine if you weren't. Imagine if the lifeblood that is your vehicle, which gets you to work, which gets you a paycheck, which pays for your rent, which puts food into your children's mouths, is suddenly not available to you. Imagine that. I'm in a position where I'm lucky enough not to have, and that's why I told you this is one of my favorite organizations. In fact, Joe and I were just talking about, you know, they do a couple of fundraisers a year, just like the chamber does. Brendan and I, I told him, I said, hey, your next one, get a hold of me. We're going to sponsor something. We're going to help. But can you imagine if you didn't have that? And I would imagine now uh, uh, that we're on that, winter maybe kicks it in more than normal, Joe, but I would imagine cars break down 12 months out of the year. And they do, but cold weather does sure. affect the performance the, the batteries, the, the, the tires, the braking, uh, we keep people in safe vehicles. And, and all, any time of year, but winter causes a lot of problems. We've been very fortunate to partner with Meineke Car Care and Ham Lake to identify some of those safety issues. We want to make sure pe people get point A to B, but safely. And it, it's critical because we don't, we don't always have the, the public transportation in all areas of yeah, Anoka County, yeah. and we serve all four corners of Anoka, rural areas. So school social workers know about us. The Anoka County Sheriff's deputies know about us. Other nonprofits, one out of five people that we helped last year came from one of the nonprofits that serve other people in regards to different needs for housing and emergency shelters in Anoka County. That's a great thing. That's collaboration. Anoka County rallies around each other. So the big thing we've been hearing about is the cost of living, everything yes. going up. I would imagine that we're talking vehicle parts are going up and everything else. Are you seeing that hitting you guys? Absolutely. Brake, you know, brake rotors, trying to find new sources, you know, working with our partner garage there in Ham Lake. That's more expensive. Uh, motor oil, cost of labor, everything has gone up. But what also has gone up is the cost of used cars. Yeah. Up, up to close to 30%. Yeah. So people are holding on to their cars longer. They may be delaying their repairs because of the cost. So what we're seeing, what I see each day, is sometimes multiple repairs that we have to find a way to help them. And that's where we have to, we have to be proactive to make sure that we can help as many, any, many repairs in that vehicle as possible. And that's what we're seeing because of just the yeah. cost of everything going up. Yeah. And, and it hits the pocketbook. Yeah. It hits people more now and cost of gas going up, yeah. just turning that engine over. Yeah, no, we're a cost buck more money a than it did a year. Yeah, a, a, a dollar a gallon more. Yep. You think about that, to 20 gallons fill a car, that's uh, 20 more bucks on top of what you're already paying for that from a year ago and, and 20 bucks for a family where 20 bucks matters. Hey, it matters to me, but for a family where it really matters, that's a big deal. Joe, looking out to 22, uh, let's talk about the coming year for Cars for Neighbors. What do you see? 
coming year is that we will have opportunities for the community to engage with cars or neighbors and that will be through our events. We're planning a, a cruise and shine event where you know we have a, the ability for so cars to take a short cruise and do a car show here in June. We're working on final details of that and then our annual fundraiser Carcino Night that's held in at Brook Hall in Blaine. That's a great opportunity for all the community to come together and just continue to rally on behalf yeah. of everybody in Anoka County. These these events, as you know, are so critical yeah. to making a difference in a person's life. Yeah. And that's and I'm I'm proud to be a part of that because, you know, I don't know if the founders realize how essential we would be even twenty two years later, but we are. Oh, totally. And it's I'm proud to carry on that tradition of many of those community members who saw that, had that vision, yep. and then we build on that. Yeah, and, and you know what? 22 years from now, it's still gonna be the same. As long as there's vehicles and there are people in need who have to have those that are critical. I mean, this is critical people. This isn't, you know, oh, geez, they're looking to get some new tires uh, that with some nice mags on them. These are, they're just trying to get to work, man. They're just trying to get to their job so that they can make money and cover their family. I know somebody out there right now is thinking, you know what, I am in need or somebody out there, and I hope there's a whole lot more than just somebody uh, that wants to help the cause. Uh, you know, you don't have to wait for one of their fundraisers to get pretty sure Joe will take it right now because they need it. Joe, if somebody wants uh, to give, if somebody has need, how do they get a hold of you folks? The, the best way to, to learn about us is carsforneighbors.org. But reaching out to us, we've created a culture of acknowledgement. So every email, every voicemail gets returned, and we talk about who, how we can help people. And that's important, because that, that goes back into how do we rally around each other? By communicating. So carsforneighbors.org, but don't hesitate to reach out, too, because we, we are looking to uh, provide that needed information so you can help someone or help us. And thank you for obviously being on the board. Thank you for being an ambassador and you're thinking, oh, but geez, maybe there's cookies there. You know what, a lot of times there are. <laughs> but we, I always tell people, you don't have to bring anything. This is a celebration of the fact that this business is opening up. Uh, and, and I know that you make most of them. I never expect an ambassador to hit them all. They're all working, man. Um, but you make so many of them and it's always positive, isn't it? It is because we, we have the ability to engage with new businesses. We can make referrals to that new business. That business may learn more about my organization or that next business. Yeah. When we all collaborate like that through the chamber, through ribbon cuttings, we, you know, we, we, can, we can do great things by showing up, Yeah. right? Yeah, it's not that hard. And graduate of ribbon holding school. The guy has <laughs> skills, no doubt. Joe, good to see you. You're gonna come back sometime this year. Absolutely, we'll talk. Pete, I appreciate the opportunity. Love cars for neighbors. All right, we're taking a break. Ambassador number three, coming up. <laughs> 